Welcome back to Gimme Five with Jones and Eli. Eli, you get put in a prison, and every day you stay in, you get one thousand dollars. How many days are you staying? I think it's a tough one here. So the initial answer that a lot of people might say would be, "Give me like a year, give me two years, or something," because then you could really rack up the cash, right? If you stay there for a year, you're making three hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. That's a lot of money, but you're wasting a year of your life, like wasting it. You're not going to have any inability to talk. I mean, any ability to talk to people, to be on the outside, to have any sort of freedom. I don't think that's worth three hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars, especially at this point in our lives. So I'm going to say, give me two weeks. Okay, maybe 15 days, right? 15 days in a prison, and I get 15,000 at the end of it. That's not an insignificant amount of money, all right? If I can do, I can do two weeks in a prison, I think. I mean, it depends on what, where the prison is, what kind of prison it is. You know, do I make enemies really quickly? Maybe I wouldn't do great, but two weeks in a prison, I feel like it could be done, especially if you knew that it was only two weeks. You could mentally kind of just say, okay, I'm only here two weeks, I'm only here two weeks, and then you get out, you get a nice 15K, Maybe start a business, invest it, you're set. You want to know the answer, the easy answer? Zero, give me that donut. I'm not going to prison for anything, man. Come on. We don't know. I'm assuming, you got to assume the worst in this situation, that this is like a, a high criminal uh, type prison, where in two weeks, who knows what could happen to you? There's tons of fights and horrible things that happen in prison, and I don't want to subject that myself for you know, what, $14,000, $15,000. That's a whole lot of money, and that would help me a lot at this stage of my life. But like you said, it's not enough where I want to risk actually having harm done to me or just having some kind of traumatic experience. So not worth it on that front. And then you talk about, well, what about the year investment? Because then you make $365,000, which would put you, you know, in the top 1% of makers for a, a fiscal year, $365,000 would be amazing at this point in life. But like you said, we're 21 years old, we're young entrepreneurs ourselves, you know, starting a business and, you know, trying to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. And our goal would be in a year to be able to do something like that, right? And in also in turn, not be in prison for the one of the young years of our lives. I think you could go to anybody who's 90 years old and you would ask them, would you pay $365,000 to live out your, your year 21 to 22 again? And I think, you know, 99, if not 100% of people would take that. So I'm not giving up these years for anything. These are prime well, years, man. And I don't want to miss out on them. He, I mean, you missed my point completely. I agreed with you. I said I wouldn't go for the year because a year well, is no, 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 I was, yeah. Well, yeah, so we would agree on that. Well, You're no, but I'm saying, but I told you, that, but I easily dismissed the two weeks because no, no, it was did. an even you worse argument. It. It, it was an even worse argument in my mind. Dude, taking the zero is actually a terrible take because listen to me. You could go in there for a day, do a day, make a little video, do what's that show where they go into prisons for like a couple days at a time, and it, you could do that, go in there for it, a day, two days. If I give you $1,000, euros, pounds, whatever, yen, and I said, Jones, go into prison for a day. You would say, okay, fine. You just stand no, there. You could you know, no. make a documentary. You could come out, and then you could spend your life telling people the story about how you went to prison for a day. And no, how it no, no, your that life is the shape to whatever. That is the worst take because you no, you are an inmate. You are definitely yeah. an inmate. No, I get like, that. But you're you not know. making. You're not making documentaries and like can make a mental yeah, yeah. note of like, oh, this is what life in prison is like, <laughs> and then you could come out and you know make Shawshank Redemption too. Uh, okay, I could just make Shawshank Redemption 2 by watching Shawshank Redemption 1, which yeah, I have many times. Not, what if that wasn't and, realistic? Well, then why would I make Shawshank Redemption 2 if Shawshank Redemption 1 wasn't realistic? Then, well, because you wouldn't know. I mean, you could make it um, – your whole marketing campaign on Shawshank Redemption 2 could say this is a more that, realistic version of Shawshank Redemption So my whole and marketing – I know because I spent the day in prison and you got an extra 1K. So let me get this right. My whole marketing campaign on my Shawshank Redemption 2 is Shawshank Redemption 1 was shit. So why don't you watch this, which is regarded as one of the best films of all time. That's what I, I should it. be doing with my one day in prison. Meanwhile, who knows? I might not even have a femur. I might get punched and then me, I'm done. I mean, I think you're also assuming that you're going to the worst prison ever. There's like a <laughs> decent chance. There's a decent chance you get put in some Norwegian prison where they treat you like you're in a hotel and you get to go walk outside all the time. Why would they put me in a Norwegian prison? They're definitely because throwing they're not, me. They're not trying. To, it's, it's, it's a ran, I'm assuming the scenario oh, is you get put in a random if prison. If you're getting a thousand dollars a day to go, I'm assuming we're going to Alcatraz, well, man. It's a random prison, Jones. And there's a chance you get put in a, in a Scandinavian prison where, like I said, it's like a hotel in there. And then that's a situation give me a month i'll live in there like for a hotel summer vacation that could be like an internship that i do and i'll just get paid a ridiculous amount of money at the end 
So what if like this was the, your time of your life, you know, this is not crazy to think where you have your big business break or you, you're supposed to meet the love of your life. And then, you know, you're just getting, you're just like, wow, I'm, I'm in a prison hold up instead. And you know, the narrative written out for your life just never comes to fruition. Will you still enjoy that $2,000 then or however many Dude, you're earning? I'm, I'm not advocating to spend a year in the prison. I'm saying two days. Like, two what, days. what do you think is going to happen in those two days? That's so crazy. Some horrible things could happen in the prison, and you could miss some amazing things. Or some out amazing here. thing could happen in the prison, don't some maybe maybe <laughs> I just saved my life by going to the prison that day. Maybe Eli meets the love of his life in prison. This has been Gimme Five with Jones and Eli. A reminder to follow us on Instagram and TikTok for a chance to suggest our next pod topic. Eli, thanks for talking. Always a pleasure, Jones. Talk to you soon.